In recent years, multi-season sea dramas have become a trend, with beloved series like Young Blood and Battle Through the Heavens returning for second seasons last year. Looking ahead to 2024, more exciting sea dramas are gearing up for a comeback. Joy of Life Season 2 has sparked immense anticipation following the resounding success of its debut season. Pre-orders for the upcoming season have already surpassed an impressive 11 million, indicating a fervent desire among fans for more of the captivating storyline. The first season has garnered over 1 million ratings on Dubbin, maintaining a solid score of 7.9, a testament to its widespread acclaim and commercial triumph. The inaugural season left audiences yearning for answers to the myriad mysteries surrounding Fan Xi'an, the complex dynamics between Emperor Qing and Yi Qingmai, and the profound emotional entanglement between Lin Wanna and Fan Zan. With the return of the original cast and crew, including esteemed screenwriter Wang Huan and director Sun Hao, Joy of Life Season 2 promises to deliver a riveting continuation to the saga, solidifying its position as a frontrunner among the highly anticipated wuxia dramas of 2024. Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty was a hit in 2022, blending martial arts, detective stories, and political drama in the backdrop of the Tang Dynasty. The series was praised for its gripping storytelling, drawing viewers into a world of mystery and suspense. With its successful mix of genres, the show became a favorite among audiences, following in the footsteps of its predecessor, Mysterious Lotus Casebook. Now, anticipation is high for Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty Season 2. Produced by Aichi and GHY Culture and Media, with director by Shan and screenwriter Wei Fenghui returning, the sequel promises to maintain the high standard of storytelling. The main cast, including Yang Zuwent and Yang Jigang, will also be back, ensuring continuity for fans. The Blood of Youth 2 series has captured audiences' attention with its vibrant depiction of young heroes donning splendid attire, whether in its animated or live-action form. In an era where engaging martial arts tales for youth are rare, the blood of youth stands out, embodying youthful vigor with unmatched style. While live-action adaptations often face scrutiny, the careful casting and faithful recreation of iconic scenes in the first season have sparked passionate discussions among viewers, showcasing the creative team's commitment. With the animated series of The Blood of Youth continuing to captivate audiences, the sequel to the live-action adaptation naturally takes the spotlight. Drawing from the original work's rich settings and storylines, there's little worry about deviating from the established narrative path. The return of the original cast and crew further heightens anticipation among fans. As the follow-up to the biggest hit of 2023, Lost You Forever, the second season is eagerly awaited by the audience. Unlike other female-centric romantic dramas that solely focus on love, Lost You Forever adopts a multi-narrative approach to explore the protagonist Xiao Yao's choices and attitudes when faced with family, friendship, and love. Each of the three male characters has their own unique qualities, so no matter which one you love, you can always find what you like. The second season of Lost You Forever unfolds with the following plot, in order to unify the world. Kang Xian sacrifices her personal feelings for the throne, Song Liu dies in battle to protect justice, and Xiao Yao helps Kang Xian achieve his great ambitions before hiding away with Tu Shan Jing. Kang Xian, who is yearning for the unattainable, devotes all her energy to governing the country because he knows that as long as the world is at peace, his Xiao Yao can be happy and well. With the return of the original cast, the biggest hidden danger has been eliminated. The female lead Yang Zi is already a representative of reputation and popularity in the costume drama field, and the popularity of the three male actors has also risen to a new level. The second season is sure to be even more anticipated. Doluo Continent has left a lasting impact as a major intellectual property, with its previous installment gaining remarkable popularity thanks to its star-studded cast. Now, the release of its second part, The Land of Warriors, Doluo Continent Season 2, marks a significant overhaul. The series sees a change in screenwriters, with Tian Liangliang taking the reins from Wang Huan. Moreover, the main cast has been revamped, with new faces like Zhu Iran, Zhong Yuxi, and Chen Miuqi replacing previous actors Xiao Zhan and Wu Xuani. This shakeup has sparked discussions about whether the new team can match the popularity of its predecessor. However, the enduring appeal of the Doluo Continent IP remains strong, suggesting its continued relevance. Unlike the first installment, which focused on Tang San and Xiao Wu's school journey, The Land of Warriors delves deeper into the later stages of the Seven Monsters of Shrek's lives. Set five years after the Advanced Soul Master Tournament, the series follows their evolution into formidable young adults. As they reunite and embark on pivotal storylines such as the establishment of the Tang sect and the exploration of Sea God Island, audiences eagerly anticipate the unfolding of these narratives. Critically acclaimed mystery drama Under the Skin is also getting its sequel. The main actors of Under the Skin Season 2 are still Tan Jensi and Jin Shijia, 
without the addition of a female lead as rumoured on the internet, which can be seen as meeting the expectations of netizens. However, the director and screenwriter have changed. The writer who wrote the original screenplay season 1, is based on said that he left due to differences in how he and production team envisioned the evolution of the story. The director of the second season, Liu Xuqiao, has a strong artistic style, especially skilled in intense plot-driven films. Her mysteryful action film The City of Chaos received a score of 7.2 on Dubbin. Screenwriter Zhong Lai is also a well-regarded veteran in the industry, known for work such as Peace Hotel. It seems that there is reason to have some expectations, with the only concern being whether the narrative pace of the first season can be maintained. After three long years fans of police drama Trident can now look forward to seeing the second season which had been confirmed since 2021. The main storyline of Trident Season 2 still revolves around the trio known as the Trident at the City Bureau, Kui Taijun, played by Chen Jianbin, Xu Guizhu, played by Dong Yong, and Pan Jiankai, played by Hao Ping. The humorous and light-hearted plot, the ups and downs of the story, and the well-rounded characters create a refreshing stream in the field of criminal investigation and mystery. The three veteran actors play their roles authentically, and the sparks that collide between them give the characters a soul, shaping a down-to-earth image of Chinese police officers. The second season's plot focuses on telecommunications fraud, allowing the three veterans to embark on the path of catching criminals once again, closely aligning with the current social hot topic of frequent online crimes. The Fox Spirit Matchmaker series, adapted from the manga of the same name, is set to captivate audiences in three parts, each unfolding a unique love story between humans and spirits. Its episodic format allows for individual narratives while maintaining interconnectedness across chapters. Despite the protagonists belonging to different periods, their stories are intricately intertwined, providing viewers with a rich and immersive experience. Boasting an impressive popularity value of 18.2 billion for the original manga, and over 5 billion views for the animated series across various platforms, Fox Spirit Matchmaker enjoys a massive fan base and a stellar reputation. The transition from manga to screen has stirred anticipation at every stage, from casting to production. Backed by Aichi, Tencent Comics, and Stellar Media, the series benefits from a top-tier production team. The first season, titled The Yu Hong Chapter, features Yang Mi as Tu Shan Hong Hong and Gong Jun as Dong Fang Yu Chu. Following suit, the second season, known as the Zhu Yi Chapter, stars Liu Shishu as Dong Fang Huai Yu and Zhong Yun Long as Wang Quan Hong Yi, with an ensemble of talented actors such as Wu Xuanyi. Meng Zi, Zhong Ruonan, Shen Yu, Hu Mingho, Ding Yuxi, and Jai Xiaowen in supporting roles. The upcoming third installment, the Wang Quan chapter, slated for 2025, will showcase Cheng Yi as Wang Quan Fugui and Li Yitong as Qing Tong. After a successful debut season followed by a somewhat tepid second installment, the acclaimed Chinese period drama, Nirvana in Fire is set to return with its third season in 2024. Aichi, continuing its exploration of fate, familial dynamics, and political intrigue in ancient China, the third season promises to captivate audiences once again. Originally aired in 2015, Nirvana in Fire quickly became a cultural sensation, catapulting its lead actors Hu Ji and Wang Kai to immense popularity. Garnering an impressive 9.4 out of 10 rating on Dubbin, the series solidified its status as a critical and commercial success. Despite receiving mixed reviews, the subsequent season, Nirvana in Fire 2 maintained a commendable 8.5 rating on Dubbin, though it failed to secure any major television awards. The official poster for the eagerly awaited third season features an intricately depicted sword entwined with a crimson silk fabric, rendered in a traditional ink painting style. While casting details for Nirvana in Fire 3 are yet to be confirmed, the series will once again be produced by Daylight Entertainment, ensuring continuity and maintaining the high standards set by its predecessors. Which C-drama would you like have a second season? Let me know down in the comments.